what is going on guys in this video we are going to create a complete news application with jetpack compose from scratch as you can see over here this is the home page of our application where all the news are being displayed with the image as well you can see different category options like business technology entertainment you can click on any category and it will display the news related to that category also you can search for any news it will display the news related to that also when we click on the news it will display the full article so let's start this awesome news application with new android studio project select new project select empty activity that is jetpack compose activity click on next let's give the application name news now minimum sdk let it be android 8.0 build configuration language let it be recommended one click on finish so our project is created let's run the app and test either it is created correctly or not so we can say hello android that means it is created correctly let's get back to the project first thing what we will do we will add the dependency for the news api so how we can add let's go to google and let's go to newsapi.org so click on this link newsapi.org so you can see over here we have different apis first thing what we will do we'll go to documentation and here we can check the documentation let's go to java you can click on this source this is the github code so let's open it so from here you can add the dependency so first thing what we have to do to add this dependency first we have to add the jetpack repository so let's copy this line let's go to our project and let's go to settings.gradle in dependency resolution management just paste it over here so here in kts file we have to give it differently we don't have to pass this and we can remove this and this we can pass in a string format so maven in the parameter we can pass the url you can click on sync now let's get back now we can add this dependency let's copy this and in build at gradle that is app level we can paste over here so here also we have to give it in a string format in the parameter click on sync now it will suggest to use a version catalog you can do that by clicking over here now let's close these files now we have added the dependency so let's explore the api first let's go to this website so we have added the dependency here you can see we have to initialize it with news api client we have to pass the api key so without api key we can't access so here you can see we have everything we have top headlines we have get sources we will use top headlines first so for this first thing is we require api key so how we'll get the api key you can click over here get api key and you can create an account over here give the first name email address password i am an individual and once you log in you will get a api key i have already created account so i have the api key let me copy this and first thing what i will do i will create a new class over here and i will call it as a constant which will be of type object so that we can access it as a singleton now let's say value api key equals to i'll paste that api key so i have now api key i can access it anywhere so let's close this constant and let's say hello to this hello android and we can delete this and we can also delete this greeting now let's design the application so first thing what i will do i will show a text over here that will say our app name that is news now so it will be a simple text so in this scaffold i'll create a column and here i will create a text composable uh, let's say news now and for this column we will add some property modifier equals to modifier dot padding that will be inner padding and we'll give fill max size now if we run the application you can see we have the text news now now i will style this news now so let's add a modifier here modifier equals to modifier dot align alignment dot center horizontally i'll give color color dot let's say red for now font size let's say 25 sp import it and font family let it be serif now if i run you can see we have this application name news now you can style it the way you want now below this we'll create a home page where we will show all the news so for that what i will do i will create a new composable let's go let's create a file let's call it as home page and here i will create composable let's call it as home page now from here below text we can call home page also we require the view model so that we can write all the functions over there so let's create a view model for this let's call it as news view model class extend it from view model class and in main activity we will pass that view model before that we have to initialize so here we can say news view model equals to view model provider this and we have to pass news view model class dot java 
now here in home page we'll pass this now in home page we don't require modifier let's receive news view model that's it now we have home page which will be displayed over here and we have view model from the view model we can fetch all the news first let's fetch the news and get it in the console and then later we'll design the ui so we'll go to news view model here i'll create a function function fetch news top headlines let's say you can call it anything so here if you go to the documentation over here in the java you can see we have to create the client with the api key and then we can call get everything or get top headlines we will call get top headlines so for that what we will do first we will create the news api client equals to news api client and we will pass constant dot api key from this we can call news api client get top headlines you can see we have added the dependency that's why we have methods over here so let's click on get top headlines and here we have to pass the request what will be the request top headline request so before that we'll create top headline request let's say a request equals to top headline request dot builder builder dot you can see we have lots of option but here for simplicity we'll just pass language that will be english and we'll build it if you see over here you can pass the query you can pass the language so we have just passed the language later we'll pass the query as well so get top headlines now here we can pass the request and second parameter is the callback you can see over here so for that what object news api client dot article response callback now here if you hover we have to implement members click on implement members okay now we have two callbacks that is on success and on failure let's remove this to do on success we'll get the article response that means we'll get all the news so what we will do here if we have in this response if we have articles then for each articles we'll just log it so new api response let's say and we can get the article from it that means we have lots of properties in the article we have title we have content we have url we have author we can use anything but let's just print title for now so whenever we got the success it will get all the articles and it will print the title of all the articles so on failure we can do the same thing but here response failed i will say and here we can show throwable dot localized message here it should be safe call so if it is not null now we have created the method which will face the headlines from the api but we have to call this method from where we will call whenever the home page will be visible this view model will be initialized here we have init method you can go over here and from this init we can call fetch news top headlines this method so whenever this view model is initialized it will call it automatically and we should get the response so if i run now the application crashed let's see the logcat here we need to add the internet permission in the manifest so let's go to manifest usage permission internet let's run the application again so we have nothing in the ui let's check the console let's search for news what we have written over here news api so you can see we have got lots of response and the titles are also visible these are the titles of the news that means we have got the news from the api so here in the articles we have all the news so we have to display it in the ui that's it so how we can display it in the ui so we have the response over here what we will do we'll, we'll create mutable live data for the articles and we will observe that mutable live data in the ui so here what we will do we'll create private value let's say underscore articles equals to mutable live data of type list of article because we will get it on the list now we'll expose it to the ui articles which will be of type live data of list of article and which will return articles so this private articles we are exposing as articles to the ui so that we can observe this live data in the ui so what we have to do here now we can remove this whenever we get the response if response is there inside response if we have article dot let what we will do this article will assign it to this mutable library so underscore articles dot post value will be it if we have the articles it will assign it to the mutable live data and we can use these articles in the ui that's it so our view model is done let's go to home page here we will design the ui so first thing we have to observe the articles so for that what i will do i will create articles by news view model dot articles dot observe as state so we don't have this method as of now if you hover over here it will say 
it will ask to add the dependency let's add the dependency for the live data runtime once it is added you can import it get value and and here we can pass empty list now we'll get all the articles in this articles variable now let's create a column over here let's give the property modifier modifier dot fill max size and inside this what we will do we'll create a lazy column lazy column is like the recycler view which will show the list of items so here we can pass anything as a list so for lazy column also i'll give modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size and for the lazy column it requires list of items so here what we will do we'll write items and we'll pass articles now if you import this here you can pass the composable so let's name it as article and here you can pass the composable which will be displayed in a list for example let's give a text so article dot let's say title if i run the application now we can see all the news so it is the title of one news this is second one this is third one if you give some gap over here let's say text let's differentiate like this if i run now you can see these are the list items so you can see these are the individual news items this is one this is second now we can design this in any way we want so what we will do we will not display over here create a different composable let's call it as a composable article item this will be this will be an individual item and from here we'll call article item and we'll pass the article here we will receive that article so article which will be of type article now in this article item we can design so what we will do i'll create a card so that it will be elevated we don't require this on click i will add modifier equals to modifier dot padding let's say 8 dp and elevation i will provide card defaults dot card elevation as 4 dp so in this way card will be displayed inside that card inside that card i will create a row in that row i will add an image and one column where we'll have title and the source so here first i will create a row import it so we'll pass modifier modifier dot fill max width so that it will fill the width let's say padding also 8 dp and we'll align vertical alignment as center vertical and here we can write one image and then the two texts so to show the image from article if you go to article class here you can see we have url to image so it will give the url of the image to show the image from the url we have to use the dependency like glide picasso or coil so i'll use the coil so let's add the dependency so you can search for coil dependency dependency go to github and you can just copy this go to build at gradle and paste it over here click on sync now so the dependency is added let's close this now we can use that composable that is a sync image so a sync image model will be from article dot url to image content description let's say uh, anything you can write article image image loader we don't have to pass for now let's arrange this in separate line and third parameter will pass is modifier so modifier dot size will give around 80 dp aspect ratio let's give one floating point so that it will be square and content scale we will give content scale dot crop so in this way image will be visible if i run now we have only added the images let's see if i run now you can see we have a card and in the row we have image these are the image for all the news some news don't have image we can ignore that or we can add if url to image is null we can pass different image over here you can do that as of now we have the images now we'll add title and the source so for that i will use column after this image so column in the column i will pass modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size and padding around a start around 8 dp so that we'll have gap over here now in the column i will use text so text so first text will be article dot title let's let's style this so so font weight let's give as font weight dot bold if you run now you can see we have the title but some are two lines some are four lines let's give max lines as three and below this we'll add another text which will be the source so article dot source dot name so it will get the source name whoever has written the article and max line let's say one and font size let's give around 14 sp it will be small and let's arrange this on in this way we have added the image we have added the column inside column we have added title and the source let's run now now it is looking good we have image coming correctly we have the title we have the source 
so some news are displayed as removed because the news might have removed so it's okay for now so in this way we have the news article so if there is no image what you can do is in a sync image you can do if it is null if it is not there then you can give any url let's say let's go to google and write no image found so from here you can use any image let's say let's copy the image address from here and if it is null we will paste that image address so it will get the url image if it is null it will show this if you run now you can see here we don't have image that's why it's visible so in this video we have integrated the news api we have got all the news in the response and also we have designed the ui so in next video we'll add the category buttons over here it can be business it can be entertainment it can be technology when we click on that button it will display all the news related to that only so we'll implement that also we'll implement the search so that we can search for any term and the news will be displayed so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye